For my dry fire practice, I have targets on my back wall, kind of like this. When I start my dry fire, I go very slow in the beginning just to get my fundamentals down. And as I warm up, I progressively push myself to get faster and faster. I use a shot timer, which helps me get into that competition mode, and it just makes yourself push a little bit faster when you hear that beep. During my dry fire practice, I just really focus on the fundamentals because obviously I'm not shooting live fire, so I focus on my draw, my hand placement, and just really minimizing any movement that I have when I'm drawing the gun from the holster. I also will progressively push myself faster and faster. In addition, what I'll focus on is obviously sight picture, target transitions, and trigger pull. I can still mimic the trigger pull even though I'm not actually shooting live fire. And then once I feel a little bit more comfortable, I will start to work on transitions with not only my foot movement, but my gun movement, and then of course, reloads. So for dry fire, I use two magazines. I have an empty magazine, and then I actually have a magazine that has dummy rounds in it. Now, these aren't dummy rounds or snap caps that you buy in the store. These are pretty much just hand loaded bullets without a primer or powder inside. The reason I do that is because the weight of the magazine is the weight of what I would use in an actual match situation. So that to me, that's really important because as I'm drawing my magazine from my holster, I want it to mimic as closely as competition as possible.